हेलो हेलो गुड इवनिंग हेलो गुड इवनिंग हाउ आर यू आई एम फाइन थैंक यू एंड यू टीचर आई एम डूइंग ग्रेट वेरी हैप्पी टू बी हियर विद ऑल ऑफ यू एंड टू सी यू वंस अगेन सो हाउ वाज योर डे माय डियर क्लास It's good for me, teacher, but I tired. You're tired. I imagine that you are tired, right? Because it's it's difficult to hold in the whole day and everything. So I know it's very complicated, but I am very happy that you are here. That's a very good decision that you take to come and to actually kind of relax a little bit in the classes. So you can you can think about something different during the day right that i know it's it's complicated in some cases to be working and dealing with many things but we are here right now so it's going to be a nice moment for you to practice okay so i hope that you are doing great and that you are ready to start another day in classes Did you have the opportunity to practice today? What did you do to practice? I uh, for me I read. Uh -huh, I read uh, the book. I read the book my my children. Uh -huh. The how do you say cuento? Ah, the, that is like fairy tale or stories or children's stories. You can say children's uh, stories or fairy tales. Fairy tales are like cuentos de hadas, right? That's the meaning of fairy tales. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. So you, you were reading fairy tales with your kids. Mm -hmm. That's yes. good. That's very good. Let's see. So today we are going to start with a new topic, right? We are going to start with... Um, a little practice on a simple past and past continuous, right? We are going to work on that today. Yesterday, we were working on some readings and uh, thank you very much to all the ones who are sending the readings uh, so far. <laughs> I am still receiving the readings and that's pretty good, right? That's pretty good that you took the chance to actually do it. You had it on the book, so it was a, it was there for you to practice. Who is missing to send the reading, people? Who is still missing to send the reading? Is it me, teacher? No, teacher. Uh huh. ¿Quién me falta todavía que me envíe el audio? I don't know, teacher. Aha! Uh -huh. I don't know, you say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yo se lo envié. Ok, porfa, a todos los que todavía me falten ahí, que no les dé pena y me digan, yo no se lo he enviado a teacher, pero ya se lo voy a enviar. So, please eh, do it. Ok, just give me one second. I'm going to get rid of this and... Ok, so... Uh, we were working on this reading yesterday, and today we are going to work a little bit on the differences between a uh, simple past and past continuous, that in some cases, you use them to express when an action interrupted the other one, right? But we are going to see... Good evening, teacher. Hello, Byron. Good evening. Welcome. So here, it says, it's, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. And here you have a couple of success stories, right? We are going to talk a little bit about success stories. And here you have Oprah Winfrey. Do you know who's Oprah Winfrey? 
Do you know who she is? Or what she does? There you have the information you can read. She is the richest entertainer in the USA, right? It's worth almost $200 million. So she is an entertainer. She works on television. She works on shows. She works with people, right? She's an entertainer. And here we have William Henry Gates III. Do you know about him? No. No, I, no idea. Microsoft founder. <laughs> okay, he is the Microsoft founder, right? Mr. Gates. He is the richest businessman in the world. He's almost worth $20 billion. So he uh, here we have the two different stories. When was Oprah Winfrey born? When was she born? Uh huh. There you have the info. Read it. When was she, she born? Was, she was born in G January 2029. Uh huh. 29 and 1954. 1954. Where? Where was she born? In Mississippi. She was born in Mississippi. Has she studied at the university? Yes or no? Has she studied at the university? Yes, she was. Yes, she has. Yes, she has. What did she study? What did she study? Uh -huh. ¿Qué estudió? No idea. It says a BA. What is a BA? It's a licenciatura, right? A BA is a licenciatura. Let me just see. I think I'm frozen. Creo que se me quedaron congelados. Veamos. Yes. Ajá, uh -huh, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry. Creo que estábamos congelados todos. But we're back. Can you listen to me? No. Yes. yes. yes you can. <laughs> okay, and I was waiting there for everybody. She studied a BA. A BA is a licenciatura, right? That's the meaning of BA, right? And she studied a BA in a speech performing arts. A speech and performing arts. That was her BA. Where did she study? In which university? Teacher, a yep. question. Yep. BA is a administration by Shell or something like that. Yes, because, well, that's a licenciatura. When you say I have a BA in, and then you say what, right? That's what you call. It. It's a bachelor. A bachelor in English, it means a licenciatura. Okay, so in my case, for example, I have a BA in English. Who else has a BA here? ¿Qué estudiaron ustedes? ¿Qué han estudiado? So you say, I have a BA in mathematics, in accounting, in administration. Yes, in my case, in, in administration. Okay, so you say, I have a BA in administration. Who else has a BA here? ¿Quién más tiene una licenciatura? ¿Quién ya se graduó de la universidad en ese ámbito? Ajá. No yet. Todavía no. Estamos en proceso. In progress. 
So that's the meaning of VA, right? That's the meaning of VA. When did she start working? When did she start working? How old was Oprah when she started? Here you have the information. She was 19, right? She was 19. Where did she start studying? Donde inicio? She was 19. Where did she study? African American New Angels on okay. TV. Uh -huh. It was the first African American news anchor on WTVF TV in Nashville. Nashville. Nashville, right? She started in Nashville. And she was the first African American presenter, right? Let's see. What was the name of the show? The Oprah Winfrey Show. The Oprah Winfrey Show, right? Where is this show famous? United States. In the United States, very good. Tell me, what did she do after many years? What did she do after many years? After several years, formed a company and bought her own show. Okay, she formed a company and bought her own show. That's what she did, right? And now, if I ask you the question, who is Oprah Winfrey, people? I was like, ah, teacher, she's an entertainer. She was the first African-American woman. And she started with the Oprah Winfrey show in the United States. And later, she formed a company and she bought her show. You can give me information about her because now you know her. Ahora ya la conocen. Hoy sí me pueden dar información de ella, right? Not like at the beginning of the class that you didn't know anything about Oprah Winfrey, right? What about Mr. Gates? When was he born? He, he was, was born, born October, October 28th, 8, 1955. Where was he born? He was born in Seattle, Washington. He was born in Seattle, Washington. You see, now you are giving me complete answers. That's very good. You are giving me complete answers. Tell me. Did he finish the university? Uh huh. Ellie, Ellie, open the microphone and tell me. No, he wasn't. No, he. No, he hasn't. Mm. The question was: Did he finish the university? No, he, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Because he dropped out. What is the meaning of dropped out? Soltar or... <laughs> he <Nah>. left. <laughs> he was like, nah. Bye bye. He dropped out. Como no quiere, ya no siguió. O no se, se salió. Ajá. Él. Se rindió, se dio por vencido, tiró la toalla. He dropped out. Desertó. Where was he studying? What was the name of the university? The name university is Harvard. Harvard University, right? He was studying in Harvard. How many years did he study? He studied two years. He studied two years because after the second year, bye bye. Tell me, what was the first thing he did with computers? Uh 
Ajá. What was the first thing he did with computers? Wrote the first computer language for personal computers. Exactly. He wrote the first computer language for personal computers. And how old was he when he started Microsoft? How old was he? He was 19 years old. He was 19 years old, right? He was 19 years old. And how old was he when he became the youngest billionaire? He was at 31. He was 31 years old, right? He was 31 years old. So that is the story of Mr. Gates and Mrs. Oprah Winfrey, right? So in this case, I was not asking you to read the information. I was asking questions about the information. So you say, when was he born? Ah, what did she study? How old was she? Right? These are information questions that help you analyze the information that you have. Because even when you don't know all the vocabulary on the reading, you understand the information, right? How much is worth Oprah Winfrey? How much money is she worth? How much money is she worth? Cuánto vale Oprah Winfrey? 200 million. 200 million. And Mr. Gates? 20 billion. 20 billion dollars. Billion dollars. Right? He is, tw he worth 20 billion dollars. Good. Very good. So I wanted to start this class with a little bit of questions, a little bit of reading comprehension. And it is always good that you uh, get like very curious about things. Not only read the paragraphs, okay? No solo lean los párrafos. Háganse preguntas. ¿Dónde nació? ¿Cuánto vale? ¿Dónde estudió? ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué significa esto? Ask questions because that is very, very beneficial for you to improve your vocabulary in English, right? And from the two of them, which one do you consider the most successful? Who do you consider the most successful person? Mr. Gates or Mrs. Winfrey? Who do you consider the most successful person? Don't be afraid to answer. Que no les dé pena contestar. Usted dígame algo, aunque algo no va a salir aquí en la respuesta. Two jobs? <laughs> Steve... or, or, or only between No, between two the people. two of them. All right, I know Steve Jobs. Okay. It's, it's another very, very successful person. But from Oprah and Mr. Gates, who do you consider the most successful? William Henry Gates. Oprah Winfrey. Okay, Oprah Winfrey. Why? Because uh, she works in the shows, in the uh, talk about many people. Okay, she works on TV, right? She's famous. And why do you admire Mr. Gates? Why, why would you admire him? ¿Por qué, por qué sería admirable? Because he, he, he wrote the, the first computer computer language and founded the Microsoft Corporation. Exactly, right? Thanks to him, we are here right now. Each person on his own computer, right? We are here at home, right? With every single detail that he invented, right? We have the chances that we have now for communications. I, am, I admire both. Oprah Winfrey because she works a lot. She has worked very hard in her life and also, Mr. Gates, who's very, extremely intelligent. So I admire both. 
And he said, I am not going to continue studying. <laughs> and he dropped out from Harvard. So continue working at your university. No me digan, ah, es que el señor Gates dejó de ir, teacher, a las clases. No, you have to finish, okay? Finish studying. <laughs> That's just an example. He was just very lucky. Okay, let's go over the reading. And let's see, I am going to ask Mr. Saul, can you help me with the reading? Saul and Abigail. Mr. Saulito, Abigail. Yeah, I'm here. Thank you. And Abby, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to start. How did you get into modeling, Stacy? Stacy. Stacy. Well, when I graduated from drama school, I moved to Los Angeles to look for work as an actress. I was going to auditions every day, but I never got any parts. And I was running out of money. So what did you do? I got a job as a waitress in a seafood restaurant. While I was working there, a customer offered me some work as a model. Within a few weeks, I was modeling full time. Wow, what a lucky break. What a lucky break. Thank you very much, Saul. Reactions for your friends, people. Very good job. Thank you, Abby. Thank you, Saul. Hey, great job. Nice, a little hard for you. Questions, any new words, new vocabulary that you have in the conversation? Yeah, people, new words, new vocabulary. Uh, teacher, what does mean Stacy? Stacy is the name of the girl. Ah, oh, okay. How did you get into modeling, Stacy? Right, that, that's the name of the of the other participant. Any other question? Uh, Sifu is, uh, I have an idea. It's a, it's a, a place that, that uh, serve it up. Okay, and, or, or, or eat. <laughs> Okay, seafood. Something about the, the, of the, 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 the sea. <laughs> yes, seafood is food from the ocean, right? It's all the food from the sea, right? The fish, the crab, the, uh, the octopus, all these animals that you can find underwater, that's seafood. Mariscos. I got a job as a waitress in a seafood restaurant. So it was a restaurant that only serves food from the ocean, only seafood, like Puerto Marisco here in El Salvador, right? That's a seafood restaurant. Any other question? Teacher. Yep. Good evening. Uh, uh, what does lucky break? Lucky okay, break. very good question. A lucky break, it's just something that happens to you by luck. It's so like un golpe de suerte. That was like, yeah, I was there, it happens, and I am here, right? A lucky break. I can tell you that my first job was a lucky break, right? Mi primer trabajo como maestra fue Un total lucky break. I was there. The teacher was there. And they say, help me. That's it, right? I was in high school. My teacher was a science teacher. And he got the English subject. And he didn't know English. And I knew English. So <laughs> I was teaching the classes, right? El teacher de ciencia agarró la clase de inglés. Él no sabía inglés. Yo sí. <laughs> Así que yo daba las clases de mi salón. <laughs> Entonces, él me pagaba a mí. For las clases. So it was a lucky break. I didn't, I didn't, I was not expecting that money, but it happened, right? It was a lucky break. So that's the meaning of that. 
she was uh, she graduated from the drama school and then she moved to Los Angeles, right? Sentences in past that you can find in the conversation. Oraciones en pasado que podemos encontrar en la conversación. Affirmative, negative, interrogative. How did you get into Madrid? How did you get? Oh my goodness! Wait. Ya ve que la arquitectura no es lo mío. How did you get into Madrid? What a horrible line. When I graduate. Uh -huh. How did you get? Okay, I graduated. Very good. Move it. I moved, I moved to, to Los Angeles. Moved. I moved. I moved to Los Angeles. Past tense. Another one in past tense. What I was going so what to did you Okay, let's say I was going to auditions every day. Mm -hmm. Another one. And I oh was running. I was running and out. Okay, running I out. I never got any parts. Well, I was you, running was out of money. Out of money. What did you do? What did you, what what do? Did you do? I got a job as waitress in a seafood restaurant. I got a job as a waitress in a seafood restaurant. The next was one. Working. I was working. I was working. I was working. I was working. Well, I was working there. A customer offered. Okay, a customer offered me some work as a model. Within a few weeks. I was modeling. I was modeling, I was modeling full, time. full time. What a lucky break. What is the difference between the sentences with was here? Let me just mark them here. And the other normal sentences. This is past, past participle. It's past participle, but what makes the difference? Because it used the verb be in past tense. Aha. Uh -huh. okay. in, in verb, in principal verb, plus ing. Aha. Uh -huh. So is this past participle or past continuous? Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ya los puse a dudar a todos. Past participle, we were using that in passive voice. Okay, past participle era el que estábamos ocupando en passive voice. Aquí estamos ocupando ing forms. I was working, I was running, I was modeling. And the other ones, I graduated, I moved, I got, I got a job, they offer me. That is simple past. Okay, you don't say a customer was offering me. Okay, a customer offered me some work. And later I was modeling full time. Me lo ofreció y después ya estaba modelando. That is the meaning of this form. So let's go in detail. Let me just move a little bit here. And we are going to go to the explanation. Here you have Past continuous versus simple past. You say, I was going to auditions every day. I was running out of money while I was working at the restaurant. So this is an action in progress in the past. Okay, esta acción estaba sucediendo en el pasado. But you use simple past for completed actions. I was going to auditions every day, but I never got any parts. Okay. I was running out of money when I got a job as a waitress. While I was working at the restaurant, a customer offered me a job. Okay. Something was happening when something else finished the action. Right. And here we have a couple of examples. In these sentences that we have here, it says drive 
as the main verb. And here you have, when I suddenly, okay, it, it means that something was happening before. So in this case, you say, I, I was driving. I was driving, okay. Right? I was driving in England when I suddenly, Realized. 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 I was on the wrong side of the road, right? Yo iba tranquila, feliz, manejando, when I suddenly realized I was on the wrong side of the road. It was like, oh my God. In this case, I, with my grandparents, when I, high school. What is the action that was in progress? Was leaving. I was right. leaving, right? I was leaving. I was leaving with my grandparents when I was entered. When I entered to high school. Because in this case, you cannot say when I was entering high school. Porque si no diría, yo estaba viviendo con mis abuelos cuando yo estaba entrando al bachillerato. Right? This is something that we use in Spanish, but in English it's not logical. Right? I was living with my grandparents when I entered high school. Here we have two situations. I, dinner last night, when the phone, what do you think is the action in progress? Make or ring? Make. Hey. Ah, that's Make. The, because I that's was. an action that you can that you were doing, right? I was, I was making. making. I was making dinner last night. When the phone? Run. 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 Okay. There you go. I was making dinner last night when the phone rang. So here you have two situations. One that was in progress and the other one that was, that interrupted it because it was complete. Tracy and Eric work in a restaurant in Vancouver when they, what do you think is the action in progress? They were working. Uh -huh. Aha, they working. were working, right? They were working in a restaurant in Vancouver when they met, met, met right? Met. Estaban trabajando cuando se conocieron. They were working in a restaurant in Vancouver when they met. Several years ago, I, problems with math, so I, to find a tutor. What do you think? Several years ago, I was having. I was problem. having. Very good job, right? I was having problems problem. with the math. So I. What is the past tense? Have. Have. I have to find a tutor. I had to find a tutor. In this case, you could you don't have to say I was having to find a tutor. It's not logical, right? Yo, yo estaba tu, estaba teniendo que. So it's not logical. The next one. We in a tiny apartment when our first child born. We were living. Uh -huh. we, were. we were living. living. In a tiny apartment, apartment when our first when child, our child was born. 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 When he was born. The next one. My brother ice skate when he, his arm. Once what is the ongoing action? Were, My brother, he, he was. was was. My brother was ice skating. Estaba patinando <laughs> when he broke, broke, broke. broke. His, arm. his arm, right? And the last example that we have, I, I TV, when the power. Washing. Exactly. I was watching, was watching. I was watching was TV watching. when the power, when the power went. 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 Out. Went. 
when the power went out. What is the power, people? What is the power? Energy. The energy, right? The energy. Energy. I have here. I have here one sentence. I need you to give me your original example. I was when the class started. Studying. I was. I was studying. I was eating. I was eating. <laughs> What were you doing when the class started? I was watching TV when the class started. I was watching TV, right? Nelson, what were you doing? The microphone. I was recording <laughs> the homework. <laughs> I, was re I was recording the homework when the class, when the started. class started. La teacher is... <laughs> Yeah, virtual y presencial causó el mismo efecto. It's okay. Sara María, what were you doing when the class started? There you go. I was. I no sé qué decir. ¿Qué estabas haciendo cuando empezó la clase? Um, eh, the finish. Eh, eh, terminando de, de cenar, de finish. Eh. Ajá, so, in that case. ¿Cómo decimos estaba terminando de cenar? I was. I was. I was, I was finish, finishing. Finish it. Dinner. I was finishing dinner. I was finishing dinner. Very good. I was finishing dinner. I was finishing, right? Let me finish, write it for you. Finishing. Finishing. In, okay. In I was finishing dinner. I was finishing dinner when the class started. When right? the class started, I was when the teacher sent the homework. What were you doing today in the afternoon? ¿Qué estaban haciendo en la tarde? Como a la una que les envía la tarea. I was traveling I was, to my house. I, I was, was working. <laughs> I was working. I was work. So you say, I was working when the teacher sent the homework. I, I was, was working, working when the teacher, when the teacher, sent, teacher sent the, sent the, sent the homework. homework. Okay. I want to know something. I don't really, I don't really know how old you were, but I will do it. I was, let's see. When the earth, earth, yeah, earthquake started in 2011, allá por el 2001, creo, o algunos quizás no hayan nacido. What were you doing when the earthquake started? Cuando empezó el terremoto. I was working. Earthquake. Started. started. What were I you doing? Uh huh. I was cleaning the house when the earthquake started. You were cleaning the house, uh huh. Abigail? I was. Um, I was two years old, and I was <laughs> playing with my sister. You were so little! Oh my God, I am so old! Oh my! God. I think, I think, I teacher, I was crying too because I was a kid. Ah, you were a little baby, Sara. What were you doing? Uh, I was shower my daughter. Yeah, your my daughter. My daughter. Uh huh. You were showering your daughter. Shower. Uh huh. I was shower. Um, my daughter. Uh, how it goes? Daughter. Daughter when the eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Er, er, earthquake. 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 Started. Earthquake started. Yeah. I remember that I was I was in my bedroom just resting in bed when the earthquake started and I was like, what's this? I was 14 years old. Oh, 
beautiful times, right? Acababa de llegar de comprar mis cuadernos. But it was a very crazy day. So this is the way you use past continuous with simple past. It is very common when you are telling stories, when you are talking about things that you say like, hey, you know, I was doing this and this and this, and then I saw the coaster and then I stopped it and then I went in and then I was talking with someone and then, I don't know, the person was asking for money. Stories, right? When you are telling about what happened, you always use this type of a structure, right? Yo estaba haciendo esto cuando esto pasó. Y yo venía haciendo esto cuando esto me interrumpió. That is the use of this type of a structure. So, right now, we are going to do a different example. We are going to use the different forms. So you say, uh, she was when and you are going to give me the form of the answer. And then we have, they were, when, and we're going to use one with I. I was, when, okay? And you are going to complete the three different sentences. Let me make this bigger, right? I need you to complete these three sentences, invent, what situations were happening. You say, she was, hmm, when this happened. They were, when, and you tell me what happened. I was, when you complete the sentence, okay? Past continuous, simple past. Complete the story, the three sentences. Tell me what was happening. When you have them, please raise your hand because we are going to listen to your sentences. You can invent whatever you want, don't worry. It doesn't have to be real. No tiene que ser real, don't worry. Okay, Saul, give me your examples. Okay, I'm going to try. Go I'm going to invent. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, she was drinking water when his mother came. Okay. She and his. She was drinking water when her when, mother. Uh, okay. Her mother came. Uh huh. Okay. They were working in the street when the ball, the boss, and <laughs> I don't know. They were working on the street when the boss appeared. <laughs> appeared, okay. Okay, good, good. Very good sentence. Another one. Okay, I, I, was, was... I was watching TV when the class start, start okay i was watching tv when the class started very good sentences very good sentences you did a very good job i need another volunteer ah uh, me teacher go i was watching a movie when leading a stroke okay i was watching a movie when when like Lightning struck. Ah, when the lightning struck, right? Cuando cayó el rayo. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Uy, what a terrible thing. Uh -huh. The next example. Give only, me a, only one. <laughs> okay, another person. Alguien más que me quiera dar otro ejemplo? All of them are okay, don't worry. Uh huh. Me, teacher. Go ahead. And she was sleeping when the alarm sound. She was sleeping when the alarm sound. Ah, sounded, right? Or sounded, in yeah. that case, you say when the alarm rang. 
porque la alarma suena como suena un teléfono. So you use rang as well. So she was sleeping when the alarm rang. Meh. She was sleeping and dreaming. Another example. Um, they were studying, studying uh, when, when, when John called. They were studying when John called. Very good. Another example. Uh, I, I, I was running when I stopped suddenly. Okay, I was I was running. You say when I suddenly stop. Stop. Okay, good, very good. So let's see. Okay, good. I need one more volunteer. One more volunteer. Me, teacher. Uh huh. But I. Um, they were planning, pl planning when the bus arrived. They were uh, planning, speaking, um, a conversation. I don't ah, know. Ah, okay. They were talking. You say they uh -huh. were talking. They were talking uh, when the bus arrived. When the bus arrived, right? They were talking when the bus arrived. Another example? Um, the, um, she was throwing. Uh -huh. Away the books when the she um she go a ring the phone. I don't okay, know. she was a ring a uh, llamada. Ah, uh, okay. D give me the sentence. She was she was to win away the book when she go a can phone. Okay. In that case, you can say she was reading a book. She was mm -hmm. reading a book when the phone rang. Yeah. She was reading a book when a the phone, yeah, phone rang. Rang. When up. the phone rang. Good. Very good. So good examples, my dear students. I am going to call the attendance and we are going to continue working on this. Okay. Voy a seguir con los, ejem con los ejemplos después de que pasemos lista. Ana Julia. Uh, present teacher. Thank you. Let me just make it bigger. Remember your cameras, people are very important to be on. Siempre tienen que estar encendidas durante toda la clase para que no nos llamen la atención por no cumplir los estatutos. Thank you. Uh, Byron. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Fernando. Present teacher. Cristina Abigail. Present. Damaris Merari. Daisy Magdalena. Daisy Tam. Elmer Mauricio. I'm here, teacher. Elvia Sofía. Present. Elizabeth del Carmen. Present, teacher. Thank you. Emma Jamilet. Okay, Damaris, it's saying present in the chat. Let me see. Okay, let's continue here. Giselle. Giselle, I, I see you connected, but I cannot listen to you. It is Rosario. I am here, teacher. Manuel Alejandro. Manuel Alejandro. Marbelli Jocelyn. Present teacher. Thank you. Marlon Ernesto. Present teacher. Natalie Geraldine. Natalie. Nelson Rolando. Present teacher. Oscar Eduardo. Oscar Eduardo. Pablo Reyes. Present. Thank you. Patricia Verónica. Present teacher. René David. 
Alexandra y Anet. I'm here, teacher. Sara María. Present, teacher. Saúl Arnulfo. Present. Thank you very much. Excellent. So I have my complete class. Let me see. I am just missing Natalie. Nati, are you there? I let me see on the chat. Sara, I'm here. Ah, Oscar, yes, I got your I got your answer. Thank you. And Daisy, I'm missing Daisy as well. Okay, so let's continue here, my dear class. We are going to keep working on the exercise that we were doing. So thank you very much for your original answers. Manuel, yeah, I got your answer. Don't worry. Yes, Manuel, I got your I got your present. So Anyone else who wants to share the examples? Alguien más que quiera compartir los ejemplos? Me, teacher. Uh -huh. She was working when I called her. They were starting when I worked and I was cooking when I fixed. I was cooking when I? Ma arreglaba. <laughs> when I fixed, when I fix it, right? Fix it. I was okay. I, okay. I, I was, was cooking, cooking when I fix it. When I fix it, very good job. I was fix. cooking when I fix it. Stop. Fix the light. <laughs> you were fixing it. <laughs> good. Yeah. So, in this case, I have a couple of sentences for you to use as examples, and it says, "During my childhood, I met my best friend while." When I was going to elementary school two years ago and last year, I need you to choose one of these ones for you to complete the sentence, right? During my childhood, you can use simple past or past continuous. I met my best friend while when I was going to elementary school two years ago and last year. You can choose any of them so you can create one original sentence. I can say, two years ago, I was working at home because of COVID. That's one example. I need one example from each of you. Uh huh. What is your example? Go ahead. Invent one. Hace dos años, el año pasado, en mi infancia, conocí a mi mejor amigo cuando, cuando estaba en, en básica, en educación básica. How could you complete it? Go ahead. We need to complete uh, this, this Any phrase. Any of this one. Only one. Choose one. Escoja ah, una okay. de las cinco. Okay. I'm going to complete the second one. Uh -huh. Okay. I meet my best friend while I meet my girlfriend too. <laughs> <laughs> I met. I met my best I friend. Met. Okay. okay uh -huh. I met my best friend while I was meeting my girlfriend too. Right? I met my best friend while I was meeting my girlfriend too. Porque aquí ya tenemos pasado, right? I met my best friend mientras estaba conociendo, right? So I met my best friend while I was meeting my girlfriend too. That's your sentence. Any other example? Me, teacher? Yes. Okay. Last year I went to Guatemala. Last year I went to Guatemala. Very good job. Another one. I have many more students. I have like 20 people here. Uh, teacher, the one. Uh -huh. uh, during my chill go, childhood. Childhood, I training to be an athlete. 
I was training to be an athlete. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. And did you become an athlete? ¿Y te convertiste en atleta? No, I problem in my, how do you say, rodilla? Your knee. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Ella, ella es la culpable de todo. Yo jugaba <laughs> básquet, pero me arruiné la rodilla. Yeah. Yo jugaba fútbol, pero me arruiné la rodilla. Yeah, no. the problem. Yeah. The problem, the knee is the problem. Okay, any other example? I Okay, go. Uh, first, uh, Elizabeth, go ahead. Oh, thank you. Two years ago, I was learning to cook healthily. <laughs> Two years ago. <laughs> Two years, yes, because I was in pandemic. <laughs> in well, house. in the pandemic, we learned everything. Bakery, cooking, pizzas, bread. We did everything. Ahí aprendimos de todo. Right? Even TikToks. We learned about everything. Okay, let's see. Who was the next one? Byron, right? During my childhood, I played football. Okay, during my childhood, I played football. Very good. Yes. Let's see. Ana Julia, what is your example? Um, during my childhood, I was very playful with my friends and my brother. Okay, during my childhood, I was very playful with my friends and my brother. Manuel Alejandro, what is your example? During my childhood, I liked to play football okay, every day. During my childhood, childhood. Okay, I like to play football every day. Elvia Sofia, what is your example? Um, during my childhood, uh, when I was uh, go, no, went a uh, river, river. Okay, during my childhood, I like to go to the river. Go, okay. I like to go to the river. Me gustaba ir al río. Okay. That's, hey, that's very good. Me too. What about Marlon Ernesto? What is your example? Marlon and then Marbelli and then Pablo. Mr. Marlon Ernesto, what is your example? Ajá, los perdimos. Ahí ven la importancia de tener la cámara encendida. Marbelli, what is your example? Ah, another one that is buying pupusas with Marlon. And let's see, Pablo. When I was ah, going to... <laughs> she's there, she's there. Salvada. Yeah. When, when I, I was going to on the beach. Uh huh. What is your 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 first sentence? What is, ¿Cuál es la la que escogió? When I was. Um, when I was going to. Uh -huh. When I was going to elementary school? Or when I was going to the beach? ¿Qué pasó cuando iba para la playa? When I was going to the beach? Um, I was in a small accident. Not really, right? What can happen if you are going to the beach? When I was going to the beach? Cuando íbamos para la playa, ¿qué pasó? When I was going to the beach, ¿qué nos puede pasar? The car, uh, the car is, I don't know, the problem. Okay, the car was broken, right? The car uh, yeah. was broken, right? <laughs> Very good. So, when I was when I was going to the beach, the car broke down, right? Se arruinó el carro. Oscar Eduardo, give me one example. The microphone, sweetie, I cannot listen. 
During my childhood. Uh -huh. During my childhood, I I play soccer every day with my with my friends. Okay, during my childhood, I play soccer every day with my friends. Good, excellent job, my dear class. Thank you very much for participating. So here we are going to work on uh, the activities we are going to do tomorrow. And here you have a couple of questions, right? Estas preguntas las pueden encontrar en su manual, están ahí. And I need you please to answer them. Okay, I need you to answer these questions for tomorrow's class. They are on your manual on page number 11, right? Las pueden encontrar en su manual en la página 11. So I need you to work on these questions, right? And I need you to answer them because we are going to use them in class tomorrow. Así mañana todos pueden participar porque ya van a tener sus respuestas listas, okay? So that is going to be tomorrow. That is all for today, my dear class. Continue practicing. I am going to send you a little practice on past tense and past continuous for you to keep studying. Have a wonderful night, my dear students, and I will see you tomorrow for another class. See you. Hello. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow.